Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about creating a discussion. So here you're going to learn how to create a forum, create a topic, link to an existing grade item, and also attach a rubric. So let's dive right on in. Access your discussions. Then we're going to go and create a forum. Select the drop down and go new forum. So what is the difference between a forum and a topic? A forum is like a folder, so it's going to be able to organize those topics that you're going to create within it. So here, I'm going to create weekly discussions for a forum. So I'm not going to create a topic with the same name because I'm going to split mine out. You do have the option, there's a lot of times instructors want to make sure that the users start a thread before they can read and reply. So if that's something that's interesting to you, you may want to check that off. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go save. And I'm going to begin adding a topic. I'm just going to go in and create a topic name. And I want to link it to an existing grade item, which means I already have that grade item in D12. I just want to make sure that when I grade my students, those grades are automatically going to go into that grade item. So I'm going to select this here, edit, or link to an existing item. And here you can see I have week one in my grade already created, and I have week two already created. And I'm just gonna select, okay. So the points are already matching what I have in my rubric. It's in the grade book. So now let's go and attach that rubric. So down in evaluation feedback, let's go and add rubric. Here's my week one discussion and I'm going to select. So now let's just go and add some dates and make it visible for our students. We want to start this on the Monday. Again, you'll have the option. Do you want your students to be able to see it or do you want them to be able to see it, just not be able to submit yet? You want to make sure that they can see it in the calendar and I'm going to leave it visible with access restricted. So they will see it, but they just will not be able to access this discussion and what is required. So I'm just going to select done. You can also put in all your uh, requirements for that discussion and how many posts do you want? Do you want everybody to make sure that they can post? And again, so if you wanted to learners to be able to post a thread before they can go and see others, sometimes they kind of copy. So you can select that here and then I can select save and close. And that's how you create a forum, create a topic, link to an existing grade item and attach a rubric for your discussions. Thanks for watching.